All right, people, welcome back to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force 5. So, in this episode, I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and duel against some randoms. I've got a couple of girls here, so I can go ahead and hopefully beat them in a couple of duels. And uh, earn some more points, so I can either buy keys of gifts. But at this point, I'm probably just going to go ahead and ask her to tag with me and earn and get her hearts up by, you know, answering her questions and tag dueling with her instead of buying her gift and then spend my money on buying more packs. Because as you guys remember, oh, I lost to this girl. I got one win and one loss. You know what, Reina? Like, I don't know. I don't remember what your deck is, but apparently I lost to you. So, so let's duel, right? Because I, I don't remember you, but we're gonna we're gonna get revenge, revenge, right? <laughs> So, uh, the pack that I wanted to buy, the one with the Beast King Barbaros on it, it wasn't available, so, you know, just saving up my money, so, as soon as it's available, I could just buy a shit ton of that pack, you know? I don't understand how the pack gets sold out, unless, you know, other NPC characters buy packs when I'm not around, like, I don't, I don't know how that really functions, but, um... I don't know, I don't know, but I want more of that pack because, of course, that pack has a lot of uh, what I want, so. Alright, Harambe's Revenge, Lila, or Lila. Um, I'm gonna grab Lila because I kind of don't need Harambe's Revenge right now. Alright, and then the, one of the greatest lockdown cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! is Under King Ryo. Set the Metal Morph, and I will end my turn. No, no searching. I they just love that when you activate Pog Duality, grab great card from your deck to your hand, and then play Thunder King. It's such a it's like an anti it's like a dick move. It really is. Yeah. Wow, she's already on the defensive. Like I said, I don't remember what your deck is. But I am definitely planning on just crushing it. So Alright, so um I think I'm just gonna go ahead and summon Kaiku, equip it with a Bing Bang shot. So that will be a nice, powerful 2200 with piercing. Let's go. Let's get that piercing on. I said, I don't remember what your deck is, but I don't plan on losing to you. Hmm. I think, I don't, I think this girl, and I remember, now to see the Apprentice Magician is coming back. I think this is the girl, I think I lost an attack. A tag match. A tag duel. That's what it was. That's how I lost. Um, I said I could kill it, but then she'll probably just go ahead and float down into eventually old vindictive. So if I can just sit here and you know just keep piercing with uh, with Kaiku, eventually she'll just be on life points, you know, because it seems like she wants to keep floating to the same monster and then end up in the last card, which is probably old vindictive to flip and pop me. So. But for now, I think I'm okay. Yeah. Oh. Um, go ahead and summon Lila and uh, activate Lila and pop that back rail. I don't. I don't think it's a threat because it wasn't a threat last turn. But still, get rid of it. Yeah. I don't know why you didn't activate that. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate Metamorph. Put it to my Kaiku. Now I'm 2,500 piercing your magician. And I gain your attack, yeah? So, I mean, you could go ahead and send another one. Oh, Kaiku's skin condition. I didn't get rid of this apprentice. You don't need this one. Yeah, that's fine. So, another one? Yep, another one. Wow. And you know what, while we're here, take can go ahead and kill this one. It's an old Vindicative, old Vindicative, it is. Alright. I have no idea what she's gonna float into. I'm gonna kill my Kaiku, that's fine. I'm still sitting fairly fine. Yep, at the mill. Oh, Lightning Vortex would not been the greatest draw right now. Not like she's really doing anything, she's setting. Okay. A spell counter? Are you gonna come after my fucking Lila, I guess? Yeah, she has 200 defense, so it's fine. Wow, is that really worth the light points? It's not like I would do anything with that Lila anyway, but I guess you really wanted to get rid of her. Alright, let's go ahead and play MST. I said I could play MST or I could summon my fucking mage guy and get rid of your shit with the same shit, so. <sighs> Alright. You got another Kaiku? Oh, Kaiku. 
I can kill. I'm not sure if he has anything else left to float into. Like I said, old vindictive. That's generally what you float into. That. And bam, she's two. And she'll be like, what? No. Uh, she's too busy doing her apprentice mission to be shocked about what happened. Oh, yeah, she doesn't have another one. Alright. Frequency. Magician, I don't know what you do. Alright, well, you got another old Vin. I didn't know she had she had multiple. So you can go ahead and flip that up, pop me. We'll pop one of my cards. Oh, Defender too? Defender's a pretty good card. Flip? Yeah. Thought that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Done? Yeah. Uh, she might be destiny drawing soon. Oh, some DD assailant. Kind of want to get rid of the defender, get rid of the defender and his token, because if she turns her, herself to defense, then she has a two two thousand booty that I cannot particularly handle right now. Well, if all she does next turn is turn the old vindictive defense mode, I mean, who cares? You know, it's gonna die either way. I'm missing out on life point damage, but this is to ensure that I can hopefully kill her in the future, because if she turned that shit, that defender to defense mode, then I would be in some deep shit. Because I have nothing to get rid of that shit right now. Nope, that's a new draw. Yep, yep, yep. Also, I'm looking for Akiza, but I don't know where she's at right now. And on the map, it didn't tell me where she's at, so I'm either it's not telling me, or she's not around. But it's still just the beginning of the day, so we're still good. Uh, can I end this duel? I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. She keeps floating and setting monsters. Like, that, that's just annoying with this duel. She wasn't floating and setting monsters. This duel would have been done a long time ago, but she just keeps setting and floating and setting and floating and setting and floating. Like, her, all her mag apprentice magicians have floated and stuff, so... And I could play the Pot of the Wildly, but I really don't need it right now. Actually, I should have played the Pot of the Wildly, because I probably should have got one of my equip cards, and that might have been enough for a game. Yeah. Might? Maybe, I don't know. But the reason I held onto the Pot of the Wildly is in case she sets back over. But nope, she seems like she's just giving it up. So. Alright. Let's go. I'm going to attack you for a game, and that's it. GG. Like I said, I don't know how I lost to you, unless it was like a tag duel or something. I really do not remember losing to you, though. So... Alright, nice, nice chunk of points. And as we know, it's not the greatest to duel against the same person, so... I guess I'll duel against Cherry? Her name's Cherry. I'll duel against Cherry. Because if I dueled against her again, I would just get less points. Like, it seems like... I like doing the rematches, you know? But you get less and less points every single time you re-duel, so... It'd be better just to walk over here and duel, hopefully beat Cherry, you know, and get more points than... Uh, head over, buy packs, and packs, and packs, and packs, and packs. I said, I'm not sure if it has to be a different time of day for them to restock, or a different day, or what. I'm not I'm not sure what the qualifications for restocking is. So. It's Cherry Bitch. She looks like she's either retired or high or both. Like, <laughs> like this bitch. Alright. Go ahead and activate the the lobby. No. I got Harold. Slate. Or Forbidden Chalice. Hmm. Hmm. That's a tough choice. Because if I set, set the slate, I don't think that he's going to survive. You know? Even if it's in Titan, he's going by 300. It'll only be 900 defense, you know? So he'll probably still get wrecked. Uh, the Herald, she could be good for later. Really? She could be good for later. If I get Beast King Barra. Now... I'm just gonna go ahead and summon Kaiku. That's in case. Like I said, I could summon Doom Cow, but the issue with summoning Doom Cow is uh, she just has to activate an effect and buy Doom Cow, you know? Well, we would even out. That'd be nice. No, I don't, you know, I wanna be in control. Air farming, alright. Plus, I've never dueled against Sherry, so I have no idea what deck she's playing. Hmm, something that summons strong monsters by paying Lifeboy, so. 
This might be difficult, you know? Probably should have played the MST, but it's fine. Hopefully this won't be too much if you pay 2,000. Yeah. And you're summoning... Oh! The Sphinxes! Oh, this might be bad. This might be bad. Pay 500 life points, but this card can attack and return to its normal summon or special summon. Card for the from the video, blah blah blah, but it's dead compared to the damage. Okay. Alright. Okay. The chase of card is removed from the field, destroy all. Uh, just field, destroy, blah 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 blah. And then remove the play. But, you see, the issue with that is. Is I have a Mist T. So pop your pyramid of light and that will kill your Sphinx. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and summon now I'm gonna summon Doom Cow. And I'm not gonna activate Kaiku's effect. I don't think there's any monsters in her graveyard to activate Kaiku effect, but of course don't activate Kaiku effect. Yeah. So Doom Doom Cow's a, a good card, you just gotta use it wisely, of course. So attack, attack, attack. Well, attack, attack. I said attack three times. Now, you know, she, she's, she's an uphill duel right now. Because I got the bottom of my floor. Her Sphinx, if she decides to do another one. If you could pay 2,000 life points for another one, I hit her with the bottom of so, you know, that's just game. Oh, she's got a Destiny draw. I wonder what her Destiny draw is. Like I said, this duel might be so quick that we might have enough time to duel another girl. Because I, I believe there's an, a third girl in the area. Just, you know, be picking on girls. Yep. Yep. He's gonna pay all the life points to go ahead and summon another, uh, what's her face, you know? And then I could just hit you with the bottom list and then, you know, you're shit out of luck, so. Yeah. On paper, it's not a terrible plan. Another, how about to say, another pyramid of light? Like, what does that do? It doesn't do anything. Get your fucking movie shit out of my face, game. Like, Cherry, go back to the drawing board, my girl. Like, on paper, it's not bad. Playing the mausoleum, summoning big beaters, but, the, you know, on paper, it's not too terrible. Alright, so, be Cherry, and I'll walk over here and do Natalie. So, you just going against all the girls. And then, after this, hopefully, I mean, I have a nice chunk of points, so hopefully I can just go ahead and go back over to, um, the card shop, and, uh, buy some packs, buy some packs of the Beast King Barbaroid pack, and then we'll call it an episode. Yeah. And if the packs aren't available, still call it an episode, you know? And hopefully, in the beginning, uh, later in the day, our keys will show up, and then we can go flirt with her. Alright. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and summon my bear. Nice 1900 beater to start it off with. You know, I generally want to go second because I want to attack first, but I want to go first because I want to get that first card, of course. Oh! Oh, shit! They actually have Toon Kingdom? Like, Toon Kingdom. Not, not Toon World, Toon Kingdom. Does that do the same thing that I think it does? But that's a neck. <laughs> like that, that that's a neck. No matter how you look at it, it's still a neck. After all, as long as card is in field, it counts as Tomb World. Okay, I think I'm worrying myself. It's not Tomb Kingdom like I think it is, right? Oh no, it actually is. Stop with the Tomb Table. I'm trying to read your fucking card. Shit. As long as cards in the field is turned into two and two monsters, you control be destroyed by by battle. You move and play one card top of the Yeah, it is. It is that kind of tune kingdom. Like, oh shit, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I have the MST. <laughs> ah, I just love just top decking that MST. 
Like, it's just like, wow, really? Like, yee. Hey. Summon this. Equip you with the Big Bang Shot. And then, why not go ahead and equip you with the Mage Power? And if she does something cute, I do have the Doom Cow to negate the monster effects while hitting you with my normal monster. That is a whopping 3300. And of course, if you do have Gores, I would say if you have Gores, I can negate that. I hit you up with 33. And I end my turn. Alright, what you got, Natalie? Oh, damn, Destiny Draw time already? You got another Tin Kingdom? Is that your Destiny Draw? Another Tin Kingdom? Alright, set a monster, that's fine. Set a card. Alright. I could just. I could activate the pot of the lobby. Might as well. It's not like it's gonna cause anything to happen. I would love to get the Lila and pop the Pabro, but of course I can't do that because Doom Cow would negate and kill me, so. I'll just get the Metal Morph. Set the Metal Morph and go up by another 500. So that's a stack of uh, 3800. Put the Herald of Creation. Then just that. And this should, should be game. Unless you're set monster or something to block me. Nope. Oh, unless you're back around something to stop me. Nope. Hey. We're out here just beating these women. Just domestic abuse. I, I need to stop. I'm gonna name the episode that. Like, I give no fucks. Alright, we're done. We beat all the girls in this area. So, let's see. If we head back to the card shop, will my pack be ready? I uh, still don't see Akiza, so either I cannot see her or she's not around. So hopefully I can go ahead and see a main character and ask. I know freaking Yusei likes to be in, like, in the satellite district down there, so I'll probably go ahead and hunt down there next episode. Hunt for Yusei, ask for people of interest, where he can hopefully tell me, Akiza, God, freaking, she's a woman everywhere. Like, you're probably a woman in the last day. So we got Hannah, having to duel her. We got not, uh... Nadia, having to do with her, and then are you just, yeah, you're just raining again. Stop following me! Shit. <laughs> Alright, hopefully my pack is here. Nope, it's not. Rip, rip. Still sold out. Still sold out. For R.I.P. to my pack. Um. Oh, uh, we have a Kisa's pack here. We could get her pack, but I mean, what's the point? You know, I'm not gonna make my deck like hers, you know. This pack, this is the pack you want to pull that lone fire, you know. Uh, like I said, I could, I could, I could, I could buy, like, some of this pack, the Rule of the Fiend. Uh, oh, Rule of the Fiend. I can't read Rule of the Field, because I could probably do it with some more skill drain. I only have one copy. The uh, Beast King Barbaro combined with more copy skill drain, because I'm going to get to buy this pack eventually anyway. And, uh, you know, let's, let's end this pack, uh, this episode with buying some packs. So we'll just buy a box. Because we have plenty of money. So, hopefully I pull skill drain. Alright, so... Nothing good, nothing good. I don't remember this pack being that good. And like I said, I bought the majority of this pack. Really, I'm just looking for skill drinks. I got another teaking. That's what I like. That's what I like. You know, he's got in there. Multiple teaking. Ooh, fucking heat wave. But, you know, I already played my monster effects. So. Monster effects, but heat wave. We know it's a pretty decent card. So, straight, blah, 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 blah. Did I pull any skill drinks? Like, Bone Control's two face half monsters. The same attributes as this card in hand. Blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. I got Kaisers, I got way more Kaisers. I got so many Kaiser Coliseums, you know? But really, I just need Skill Drain. I got two Royal Decrees, and so I it to two. Royal Decree was limited at one point? I mean, that wouldn't be terrible. Just negate all traps, you know? I'm gonna put that in there, you know? Rely more on spells, negate all traps, you know? Just flip it up and just be like, nope, no traps, you know? I might not be terrible. I might go ahead and do that. You know? Especially since I just pulled two of them. It would not be terrible. Uh, cause my traps are good, but they're not the greatest, besides skill drain, but unless I get more skill drains, you know. It's all in continuous traps, line imprisoning, and it doesn't look like that's holding skill drains. Got another Vandy's Emptiness. Vandy's Emptiness is at three, so, uh, I believe this might be my third one? I don't know. I don't know. Freaking, just all of the fucking, uh, the hate. 
Yeah, I didn't pull any. I didn't pull any skill drain. Sucks. That's exactly what I was fucking looking for. I got vanities. I got another tea king. Like, I pulled some good shit. You know, pulled some royal, uh, royal decrees, the vanities, and the tea king. Like I pulled some good shit. I just didn't pull what I wanted to. So, rip on that. So I'm gonna hold on to my money because, like I said, I kind of want to get that beast crate about right. But we're gonna come back to that pack because I could always go to third tea king. I could always go with um, well, a third tea king in the skill drain. All right, I'm gonna, now I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play in Yu-Gi-Oh! Tech for 5. Of course, I'll be back on Thursday with some more. And, of course, more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.